Well, let me buy you your first beer. Then. At Egan's Union 32 Craft House. Just to give you a little taste. Hospitality flows. See how you like it. From co-owner Mark Zesbaugh. Yep, that was just kegged a couple days ago. That's our, our new day maple brown ale. It's good. Do you like it? Maple brown ale. He is more like generous and gracious than people know, and I think he does that uh, on purpose. Because it's local for me, there's rarely a night that I go in there where I don't know a bunch of people. And it's not that I want to be norm, you know, the norm of cheers. I'm going to go say hi to a couple of people that just came in. Two of us drew a circle, and we said that's kind of our circle of love. And what we said is, whatever we do, it has to be in that circle because we wanted to do something in our community, and we wanted to do something that, that we could partake in. Ryan, nice to meet you. Nakisha, nice to meet you. The University of St. Thomas has been at the center of that circle for the better part of three decades. How do you feel about your overall education at, at the university as it, as it prepares you for kind of that, that first kind of quote, quote, real job? Everything's about the students. Fantastic. He doesn't stand at the pulpit and hammer his fist. What he does is he tries to bring anecdotal or episodic examples as ways that we can improve. What would be ways to re-engage students? As chair of the Student Affairs Committee. Getting it out there. Social media. Zesba made sure that the student voice that was yeah. center stage. Here. I graduated in 86. The facilities weren't the same. <laughs> I heard him talk a little bit a few minutes ago about his passion for the board. His passion's for the students. But I think it's important to get an understanding, not just for myself, but for all of the board members, a student perspective. So we're actively engaged with the students. You guys have all heard about this enormous gift that was given by the GHR Foundation. What's your perspective of that, the $50 million gift to provide access to students in the form of scholarship? He has that a ability to a understand people. He really he helped me think about things in a different kind of way. Some of the professors here were, were really instrumental in kind of where I ultimately ended up. You know, the original the idea was psychology, good. but that flipped to accounting thanks to Professor Len Menars. He pulled me aside and said, you know, Mark, have you ever thought about getting a degree in finance and accounting? And I said, absolutely not. He asked said, me to do him a favor. He said, will you take one more class? Um, and I'm like, I didn't think, you know, accounting was for me, but, you know, maybe it is. And so I did. And, you know, two years later, I graduated with a degree in accounting. His career took off. At age 29, Zesba was the CFO of Allianz, one of the nation's largest life insurance companies. And eight years later, he became CEO. Kind of put my career on, on steroids to a certain degree. His reputation was excellent, and he was known globally as a, as a real professional. He is, I think, the quintessential servant leader. Mark doesn't walk around uh, tooting his own horn. He quietly goes along and does what he needs to do. How, how has the student experience changed with the Always available, always willing. Oh my gosh, it's been a game changer. Always in his circle of love. You know, you go to the Anderson Student Center and you can just sit there or stand there and you can feel that energy. And I think St. Thomas is right in his sweet spot. I think he's very grateful to the education he received. I think he feels like he's very fortunate for the career he's had and the family he has and it's all part of his uh, way of giving back. There's Tommy. I'm so proud of being a graduate of the University of St. Thomas. <laughs> Who looks better? <laughs> Tommy does. He's got it's, more it's a, purple. I he's got more that. purple. I should have worn more purple today. And giving back is easy. Giving back is really easy.